All right. I know some of you have been waiting for me to do this for a while, but here it is. Here is the first, I believe the first War Thunder video I have going up. Today we are doing some arcade here. We're somewhere in the jungle playing some conquest. Starting off with the uh, German tanks today. Working on getting myself a Panzer IV and working my way down to a Tiger tank. So right now I'm in the Panzer III Ossif E, I believe. Not a bad tank. Not a bad tank at all. In fact, I'm actually enjoying this sucker quite a bit. One thing I always got to be wary of is, is uh, be careful not to be reliant on, entirely on World of Tanks knowledge. This game requires patience. Lots and lots of patience. And finding the good avenues to engage in this world. So, at the moment right now I'm just kind of waiting to see where the enemy's going to pop up. I'm trying to find myself a good place to start engaging them. Usually you want to find a nice foliage kind of area to kind of hide your tank. So that way uh, they're, le they're not as likely to have you lit up. The arcade mode is the closest thing to how World of Tanks runs. Uh, but it it still is a lot more patience to it than in World of Tanks. One nice thing though is that you actually can, in a sense, respawn in this game using a reserve tank system. I think I just am working. Alright, trying to see how deep the water is here. Graphics of this game are phenomenal. They really are. It's kind of impressive, really. But World of Tanks is making its way to getting to these kind of graphics. All right, right now, I'm on the very far end of the of our team's flank here in this position. Gonna come back up here. I feel like I'm, I have enemy crosshairs on me. Shot him really quick. I think that was an ammo. another ammo rack. That or my gun's just so powerful. Panzer 38T, of A. I'm gonna let him come up to me. Unlike in World of Tanks where it, you, you can uh, charge towards the enemy in this one, it works way better to your advantage if you let them come to you. Let them be the ones to expose themselves. Uh, 
I am slowly whittling this guy down. I have no idea how many more shots it's going to take to take him out, but put quite a few shots into his into his turret. I think it was his commander's hatch as well. He's starting to back off now, so I'm pretty sure he's feeling the damage. I'm going to kind of push up to that destroyed T-26. He uses carcass as cover for my tank. Okay, apparently I can shoot through tanks. Apparently. Fortunately, this thing does not reverse very well. I'm pretty sure that was an artillery strike somebody called in there. We are getting our butts handed to us. I apparently, seem to be, apparently seem to be the only good player on my team. Alright, I don't know why my tank is turning so slow. Usually this thing turns really fast. There's a lot of the fighting is going on up further north. So, I'm up that way. Crap, 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 crap. That is not good. Yep, I'm screwed. We just got out flanked here. We have a couple of tank destroyer type guns moving up. I believe that's what those are. In all honestly, I have no idea. Alright. Let's see. I have no idea how to ping the map. Does it work? All I know is we have two Zis 30 guns moving up through the southern route. Alright, I think I'm going to upgrade the suspension or something. The dead turns are just... <laughs> There's nothing to turning. There's no turning on this. Yep, in our base. They're in our spawn. There's a little... To me, that's, that shouldn't happen. Alright, apparently those things are severely weak from the back. Hopefully there's nobody else around. I only saw those two guys down here, so should be safe to repair. It's going to take 30 seconds to repair my tank here. A little bit more slow, a little bit slower than how it is in World of Tanks. Though. Looks like those two guys are pretty much the rest of the enemy's team. So I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, we just... we creamed them. We really came back at the last moment there.
like I said, the pacing of this one is definitely a lot slower than how it is in World of Tanks. Holy cow, I got a lot of stuff here. Yay, more stuff. I love stuff. Ground Force. Rescue or defend a friendly ground slash water troops. Nice. Got that. Five of those. Ground wind streak. Hm. Bulgarian armed forces. Hm. 14th Panzer. Anti mech. Ooh, I placed third. Got six kills, one death. Not bad. All right. Let's see. Du -du -du -du. Kind of neat. German African Corps. Huh. I can change the sh size. Like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm just kind of uh, messing around here. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. How do we, oh, there we go. Back. Woo! Now I got a <laughs> specialized tank, I guess. I don't know. Let's go into the next battle. I've done a few different matches in this game now. Uh, so far I've been sticking strictly to the uh, ground forces here. Just kind of checking those out. Personally, I've never really been one for the aviation. For the aviation stuff. I mean, yeah, I have some favorite World War II planes that I like, like the uh, B-17 Super Fortress and P-51 Mustang, but... I'm more of a tank kind of guy, anyway. 
Now, when they release battleships or something like that, I may look into that. Because, I mean, who doesn't enjoy a really awesome looking battleship? One thing I wish that uh, Wargaming would adopt is a matchmaking system similar to this game. Simply because of how this matchmaker works and that it actually tries to go for a evenly split team. I really enjoy that. That they actually, that uh, War Thunder strives to do that. I think overall it just really helps with making a good, uh, making the gameplay fun. Even if the uh, waiting times are a little long. Which this one seems to be rather long. It's already been a couple minutes. Let me just kind of flap in my gums here. Yeah, there we go. Just had to pull up the research menu. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are we at this time? Mountain pass. It's not the same kind of mountain pass as in uh, World of Tanks. At least not that I've seen scene of it of the map it'd be very interesting to see world of tanks uh, go for these larger maps getting stuck in the trenches. I think I'm gonna keep an eye on the northwestern sides here. Wish I had a little bit more foliage by me, but well, these couple bushes here will have to suffice. I'm gonna pretty much be waiting here for enemy tanks to show up. Which we have enemy tanks on the far. End. I just wasted one of my two Panzer threes. Awesome. That's a great way to start the game off. Just waste one of your really good tanks. Alright. Actually gonna engage him from way back here. Are you freaking kidding me? This is one thing about the game that I really, really do not like. Is that this, you have this kind of crap. You, you bump into something and you're pretty much your whole tank breaks down. That's one thing about this game that I really don't like. 
At least you can still engage targets. I'm glad about that. Seriously. It's pretty horrible too, considering that the repair times are it's pretty much half a minute. That's a whole lot of time to be targeted by enemy tanks. Be destroyed. So. Really here. Pelted by something. Sounded like it was a bounce, though. But I'm not entirely sure in this game. It's impossible to tell. Enemy forces capturing. Hey. Yeah, I'm doing pretty terrible in this match here. Pretty terrible in general. Alright, we got some nice full legion here now. Take a look, see if we have any targets to shoot at. Ooh, got a T28. Start opening fire on them. Causing minor damage to him. Looks like my. Looks like I'm. Uh, I have a slower reload time now. So I have no idea what that is. Kind of like that. Oh, looks like a Panzer 38T. Alright, yeah, that's what it is a Panzer 38T. Hiding behind some rocks, it looks like. Alright, we gotta get in there to take him out. That way he's not getting in the whole cap. Get a nice view of the side. Very nice. Yeah, we just completely ganged up on him. This guy's in my way. Uh, what else is new? It always happens. No matter what game I play. Down. 
Very slow reload here. Great. Sorry, it looks like we're gonna win. Gonna take out the Panther 2 DAK. Give me one moment, guys. Sorry about this. Need to take care of that. Just some little minor things. That's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I am. I got this guy. I don't. I am really not sure how I got him. He just kind of popped in my garage. But whatever. All right, so <clears throat> mm, let's see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be uh, woo. Purchase purchase that transmission. Let's go for the engine. Purchase the engine. Uh, elevation mechanism. All right. Ooh, I was number four in my team this time. All right. Getting close to unlocking that next Panzer tank. We'll see how well this next one goes. Another thing I'm really not too sure about in this game is the res the research system and the uh, I guess credits system. It seems it, I'm still getting used to how it works, but I don't know. I guess I'm just too used to the to how it works in World of Tanks. Either way, it definitely feels like I'm. It definitely feels a lot slower going through research and such in this game than in World of Tanks, but then again, there's only five tiers, five actual tiers or something, and. I don't know. I'm just not used to this system yet. Definitely going a lot better in War Thunder today than uh, World of Tanks, I would say, so far. Getting used to this game. Um, as far as uh, crowds go, I'm not really sure yet how to compare the two.
World of Tanks crowd definitely seems to be more talkative. But, I don't know. So I think I'll head up to Point Charlie. Yep, this still this thing still turns worth <laughs> can't turn worth a darn. Ugh. Seems to turn fine though when I start moving. It's just that dead turn. Not want to touch these palm trees. My tank may explode. What's up, Coin A? And if I was Captain Charlie. There. The FC. Now it's time to move up. Start engaging the enemy. Wait, what? Why do I have to repair my tank? I, I just don't even understand. Loading in progress. And I'm gonna guess the gun misfired and the shell didn't go off. Suspension damaged. Oh. Yeah, we are being peppered quite heavily. I'm gonna get up closer to this rock first, though, before I start repairs. Reloading. I'm very confused as to what's going on. Okay. I would love to be able to pull backwards, but that's not going on. Yeah, take a whole lot of hits. Be nice to actually show the damage, like in World of Tanks, bullet holes, that kind of thing. Not going to press you. Reload. It's a bloody point. I'm already reloaded. And I was inside the tree. Okay. Let's 
not weird at all. a bloody bounce. And they keep calling bloody artillery strikes on me here. What the heck? Well, they only have about <sighs> got a lot of stuff going on around here all of a sudden. So, this is our first War Thunder video here. I'll have to take a rain check on the ending of the match here for you guys. Looks like we're pretty much going to be losing this fight, though. So, this is uh, Sergeant Gustav signing off for now. See you guys next time. So, yeah, watch out for these videos. They should be up soon. Tomorrow we got our next Skyrim video going up. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Alright, see you guys then.